seriously typing into the <laughs> right. box right now. Correct. Yeah, it does. <laughs> this is a great question. Is it hard to adjust your eyes coming and going from the van since it's so oh, dark man. in there? Yep, you come out of here looking like a mole. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in here for a long time, it's like... <laughs> it's oh, all. nice. Good to know, Dave. <laughs> Dave's got his own range finder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, actually, last night, I forgot that we're so far north, so I walked out of the van for a second. It was still light outside, and I was very confused because it was light till like, 10. Or nine. I was in Alaska doing a job yeah. a week before this one, and we got uh, sort of two hours of kind of darkness every day. That really messed with people when we were down in Antarctica. Yeah. The 24 hours of just proper full-on daylight. Yeah, the sun never leaves. Yeah, it really messed with people. When we lived up in Alaska, we uh, you'd have to put tin foil on your kids' uh, bedroom windows so they could actually go to sleep, dark yeah. them out. Why don't you just put tin foil on their eyes? Let's Let's wrap the whole head in tin foil. foil. Yeah, I think that's interesting too, because when people talk about Alaska or Antarctica, they usually talk about, oh, the darkness is so terrible. But I think having 24 oh, hour sunlight is that pretty rough awesome. too. <laughs> oh, it was great. It's kind of cool, but having it for a whole two months. I like living, I mean, even where we live up here. It's dark around 10 o'clock at night in the summer. It's great. When I was up in North Slope. We were working on sea ice, so we have to hit it while there's still sea ice, but it so it hasn't melted yet. And you are, but you want some daylight too. So we went right at spring. So every day, I think we gained 20 minutes of sunlight. So it was there for a month, and the, over that time, it was like really kind of disorienting. It started out dark all the time, and then ended up light all the time. Yeah, in Anchorage, you um, when it's really cooking, you get an hour more daylight every like s ten days, I think it is. Yeah. Six minutes more a day. Yeah, yeah. This was a north slope, so. Up at Barrow. Yep. Yeah. Utkalgvik. Home of the fifty-dollar pizza. Yeah, and Pepe's north of the border, which has yep. now burned down. Oh, did it burn? Yeah, a few years back. Mm. Ed, how long did you live in Alaska for? Uh, about five years. Uh, Were you up there at the same time as Dave? 19, uh, yeah, that's where we started working together. Yeah, okay. Uh, the TV yeah, station? that was 93. Um, an editing facility, yeah. Last time I sailed with Dave, he uh, sent me a photo of him working on Denali. Oh, yeah, that's a great picture. Yeah, him I and Trent. That. I love that photo, yeah. Yeah. Doing a live shot mm -hmm. from uh, Mount Super Denali. Cool. It's on a beauty day, too. I would like to live in Alaska, and I don't think the you know, extreme dark and light would bother me so much as the nonstop rain. Mm. I did not realize that it rains in Alaska as much as it does, like most of the year. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, like 200, 270 yeah. days of rain. Fair amount. But I guess if you're from the Pacific Northwest, that's, uh, I mean, it's still a bit more, but. We went camping up by Curry Ridge once, which is like, I don't know, 20 miles from Denali. And uh, I think that was like June. And we had to ram through a snowbank to get into our camp campsite. <laughs> I love camping in the snow. You just build whatever you want out of the snow. Yeah, that right now for them. What? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, there's this mound at our, at our campsite. <laughs> there's a mound at our campsite. We just ran over it. <laughs> <laughs> Our uh, friend in the Navy here said eight hours of sleep. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but right there he said you. Dave was correct. On the watch schedule. Oh, with the rotation. Four days. Yeah, our typical schedule on board here is four on, eight off, four on, eight off. But... It's not like you actually sleep eight in, in the eight. Yeah, you your eight off is when you do your other job. Yeah, you can, one of the eights off, you do the rest of your work and get some personal time in, and then the other one, you can usually, if you do it right, can get six, six or six and a half straight. But um, if you have anxiety problems, then you can't. <laughs> Do you have anxiety yeah, problems? Well, yeah. <laughs> do you problems. do you need to talk about it? <laughs> no. uh. I couldn't go to sleep last night because I'm I was finishing my book, which is was so good, but it had me awake until one thirty in the morning. So. Uh, yeah. That's a good book. It's an excellent book. I highly recommend it. It's called The Last Run by Todd Lewin. It's about a uh, fishing ship off the coast of Sitka, Alaska that sinks and the insane rescue that happened to uh, rescue these guys in like hurricane force winds. Wow. It's phenomenal. It's a really like intense page turner and uh, I could feel my heart rate going up when I was reading it, you know? <laughs> so it's like the worst thing to read before you go to bed. Yeah, hard to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I read about <clears throat> naval and aviation disasters, and it's always interesting to uh, note what led to their occurrence, and it's usually, it's rarely is it like major oversight. It's, it's a usually chain a chain of accidents. Yeah, yeah. Chain it's, small. Of it's one little thing after one another. One little thing after another. Yeah. That's what you learn in, uh, well, like yeah. dive master classes, mm -hmm. how to break the chain, how to right. stop. Yeah, we learn about that in wilderness first responder training, too. It's just these, it seems like one little thing's no big deal until we, yeah, it's coupled yeah. with other stuff. I don't know if it's a Pacific Northwest thing, but there's just this uh, guide that if three things go wrong, you're done. Don't go. Yeah. You don't need so much you know, you on, just break a strap on. somewhere, yeah, you forgot your advice. light, and yeah. just your O-ring's leaking. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Don't fix any of that. Go home. Hang out, do shore support, go to lunch. Yeah, same thing on a big mountain or in, in yeah. an extreme environment. Yeah, we had a, um, I worked for a big, a large chemical company. It starts with a D, and uh, <laughs> they had a uh, pyramid kind of like safety scheme, and at the top it's fatality, and at the bottom it's minor incidents, and it was like the more minor incidents you stack up, the more chance you'll have. Mm. It's kind of like the whole thing scales. So yeah. they were finding, you know, if you do, if if you're there's a lot of minor infractions, then there's a lot of uh, medium infractions, and you eventually will get to like you know having casualties, but.
We have a question about how many more days are in this expedition. Today oh, is the eighth. No, I'm off headset. I can't count. I hate, hate counting days. Nine days? I, I believe it's nine days. Nine. Or ten days. We come into port on the 18th, right? Wow, man. That is shorter than I thought. We're just over halfway through the expedition. Yeah, then the expedition after that is a short uh, two-week transit from British Columbia to back to Honolulu. And then we have two month-long cruises. One is to Johnston Atoll area. It's kind of that Pacific um, remote island Marine National Monument area. And... Uh, then the cruise after that will be to uh, within the Papahānaumokuākea Marine National Monument and the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands chain, and we'll be going um, as far out as Midway. So pretty pretty far away. I think the first kind of transit to get out there is at least four days from Honolulu. Rene, are you on for both of those month-long stints? Yes, I am. <laughs> I am on for both, which is why I said the transit was a short two weeks, <laughs> because that's when I have off. <laughs> yeah. I'm off for the transit and Johnson and come back for Papa. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, will I see you in Honolulu, Rennie? When are you back? She's doing the transit. I'm doing the transit back, yep. and then I'm yes. staying down there. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you. Sweet. You going to hang out there for a whole a while? I am. Yeah. Uh, yeah, OET is going to pay for me to stay in Hawaii for a couple of days to do some more filming. Nice. nice. Oh, yeah, I think it's a, a few days port stop, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, and I think I'm coming in at the beginning of it. It's kind of transition back into Yeah. Do you want to go surfing again? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> if, if we get the time for it, that would be awesome. I doubt there will be time. We'll see. Maybe like an evening, you know. I was so excited when I finally stood up on the board surfing at Waikiki and I like rode the wave for 20, 30 seconds. I was really impressed with myself and then I almost ran someone over. I remember <laughs> when you came back in, you were both, you looked proud, but also a bit shaken. Horrified. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like when Ed ran over those snow campers. Yep. <laughs> trying to get those tent poles out from my spokes. I love that we still have 50 people tuning in just to uh, well, <laughs> watch the blue don't, water. Don't get too happy because it's technically 50 devices, not necessarily people's. I like to think. But it could be 49 devices and one computer with 80 people gathered around <laughs> the screen. You don't know. It's probably just a page people left open, but you never know.
Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much current to speak of at all. Uh, I don't think there's any current. Um, unfortunately, we're not getting right back in the water. I think we're doing mornings today. Let's or, see, or maybe not. Says point three maybe we are going right back in. I mean, it's like glass out there. It's I know, so we should calm. be diving. Yeah. yeah. The, when I pull up the ADCP, the numbers are kind of, the velocity and the direction are kind of jumping about a bit, which means it's kind of not doing much at all. It looks like 0 0.2 at 150, kind of, seems where, where it's settling, which is about what we're seeing um, from our yeah. measured or our, yeah, our measured sensor, not measured, what do you, calculated sensor, which is, uh, but it's a little overestimated there. I think it'll be fine, so we'll stream forward. It'll kind of keep you off to the port side, and yep, cool. yeah, we well, should be good. All right, yeah, people are actually paying attention. <laughs> All right. Wow. Nice. You never know when the midwater will come up with exciting things. Yeah, we get dolphins at the top nowadays. Yeah, we lots did of dolphins. Did the other day. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Our Navy friend regrets that they never applied to a position in Woods Hole. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. I well, uh, had a pretty, pretty good shot coming from Yeah, uh, Woods Hole is a great institution, great people to work with. Still got time. Yeah, it's never too late. Uh, one viewer just made sourdough and lemon cake with our commentary in the background. That sounds great. Oh, I thought they meant like we were kind of given a recipe. Or <laughs> Based on our commentary, they were baking. Well, I don't want to see what that, right. what that looks like. <laughs> Did, was it baking or getting baked? <laughs> <laughs> A viewer in the UK can confirm confirm they are not running 49 different devices. That's good. Oh, good. Can you tell me about metric time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One viewer just said, I'm here. I'm kind of a boring guy. <laughs> Hey, we don't think yeah. so. We, we, don't think so. we yeah. think you're they awesome. Come on, you're not boring. You're not boring. You found us. You're leading us. an interesting life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've opened up a can of worms here, asking people about stating their existence. Well, we still have over a thousand meters to go, so. Yeah. That's how you find out who's really watching. You say nobody's watching. It's kind of like the uh, trick for getting an answer to a technical issue online. Have you heard that? You post, oh, yeah, yeah. You post the problem you're having, and then you post a blatantly wrong response to <laughs> right. yourself. And then people are and like, 50 people correct. will correct you with uh, the right answer, yeah. and there's your answer. But if you just post a question, nah, nobody's going to help you. But then you post, oh, you just have to hit it with a sledgehammer. Then people are like, what are you... Silly, you just got hit Alt X and that'll fix it. <laughs> like, that oh, that was secret it. genius. <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> Sorted. Have you guys noticed a difference since we put the Wi-Fi on the Starlink? Um, not in speed. No. But I haven't. When did you do it? Uh, I didn't do it, but uh, we've been on Starlink for two days, I think. Hmm. I don't think I've really been doing much. I 
We're gonna, uh, here I can do it now. Speed test on a mobile device. So our satellite connection is 20 megabit that we share between operational needs and 50 persons. And see so you get like, I don't know, 200 kilobits downlink. And so it, I don't really care about the upload speed. Although I should, it's ginormous. I have a uh, question here for the pilots that I've never seen before, and I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but I'm going to ask it anyways. Um, I just don't think this applies to ROVs. Are you IFR rated, like instrument only? In Could other you words, have this? you worked in Sanich Inlet? <laughs> Could you do yeah, this without or, video? Yeah. Mumbai High, yeah. Yeah. You don't have, to, there's no ratings for, for us per se, but uh, we do have to be able to work in Novis and use our instruments, just like an IFR rated pilot. Cool. Yeah. If you ever tune in for the Ocean Airways Canada Georgia Strait cruise oh, in March. Man, that is, yeah. you gotta, yeah, the visual. You just bump into something and yeah, find it. Yeah, you just keep going until you yeah. hit it. Or you use your instruments if you're good, but oh, usually this, it's me doing it. not bad, so. Hannaford. <laughs> yeah. So it sounds like uh, the answer is yes for most people, no for Josh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and our results are in four megabit download, nine megabit upload. Mm. The results are in. We're getting all kinds of comments and questions now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> We've woken good. them up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, they're good. Um, it's just funny how engaged people are. Uh, that's awesome. Somebody's watching, even though it's 1 a.m. in Tokyo. That's amazing. That um, actually sounds pretty good, though. 1 a.m. on 1 Saturday night in Tokyo? I guess so, yeah. yeah. Or is it tomorrow? Well, 1 a.m. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday, yeah. yeah. I think it's tomorrow in Tokyo. Well, 1 a.m. on a Sunday is Saturday night still. But is it 1 a.m. on Monday? No, that's too far. <laughs> that's too many hours ahead, buddy. Let me figure Perhaps out. That times a thousand in your yeah, yeah, I'm still yeah. working on short kilo time. On that. <laughs> Let's see the Tokyo. Yeah, wait till he learns about the yen. Tokyo. That's times a thousand. Tokyo's tomorrow plus 16. And we're at UTC minus 7. Duh. So then it's... He's got his abacus out. You can just Google time uh, in Tokyo. It's 12.57 uh, a.m. Time and tomorrow. date .com. Sunday. Yeah. No, so then... <laughs> yes, Trenny, please stop. What day is it today? It's Sunday. It's Sunday. No, it's Saturday. Let's have Trevor come up Sunday with his range night. finder and tell us what time it is. <laughs> Early Sunday morning. That's what I said. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm not, I'm not oh, debating. Just okay, okay. I was confirming, confirming what you said yeah. 10 minutes ago, yeah. Josh. But it sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that recipe? Yeah, what's the recipe? Lemon and something? Ginger, uh, lemon? Homemade sourdough bread and lemon. Oh my god, how so many comments? Where oh was yeah. it? Drizzle. Lemon cake, won't it? Oh, yeah. That lemon good. cake, yeah. That sounds mm. great. Nice. We can give them our lat long if they want to send some out. I mean, I'm still really stoked that we have that bread from. Is it the bread from Sydney? Well, I think it's Portofino. Yeah, Portofino. Portofino. It's so good. Yeah, yeah What's from the, Victoria. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, it's so good. Bang, it's here. Hi, yeah, Megan's here. Hello. Wisely staying out of this fray. You know what she said to me this morning? <laughs> Good morning. Uh, nope. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, Good morning. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's Good. That's Good, Good one. <laughs> nice, Megan. Uh, uh, thanks. <laughs> that was at like 5 a.m. too. Yeah. Yeah. She's been thinking about it all night. <laughs> Shit for days. I got this killer one for the morning. <laughs> I had a sticky note on my door. Right, Remember, yeah. say yeah, good morning. Loaded. <laughs> Drop the N. Top of the morning to you.
morning. Top of the morning. Okay. Oh yeah, that's good. Top of the morning. <laughs> Look at him, he's so pleased. <laughs> yeah, Megan's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Scooped. <laughs> Go with jerk store. <laughs> that's the line. Uh. <laughs> Next morning. Yeah, next comment. Yep. Our next comment is I'm sure Renato enjoys gradients, which is zero to four hundred instead of degrees, zero to three sixty for angles if he likes metric time. Love it. Yes. <laughs> Love gradients. Love it. I've never heard of gradients. Is that a thing? Uh, radians? Gradient? Gradient. Radians without the G? This says gradients. I don't know. They're they're in a part of the world where you add G. <laughs> it's radians. <laughs> yeah, it's radians. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have someone who's listening to us as they recover from surgery. Oh. That's nice. Get, get well soon. Get well soon. Yeah. Yeah. It's been known that watching this helps you recover quicker. <laughs> I think the ocean is very healing. We have a question about, are there any good stories of the crew playing tricks on newbies on the ship? But I don't know if we can talk about that on SPL. Oh, I don't, we don't really do that. Not too I much mean, for hazing. We, we actually no. play tricks more on the more experienced yeah, people. Yeah we, yeah. yeah, we want people to have a good experience when they come out, so we don't want them to feel... Yeah, you there's know, no like... We don't give them a hard time if they say door instead of hatch or something. But you know? if you're out here long enough... Oh, man, we're merciless. <laughs> we did have We've a... We've been sailing with you for 10 years. You make one little fumble. That's you hear it. about it. It's going to be yeah, on your that's tombstone. that's your nickname for the rest of the year. <laughs> for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> on your tombstone. There <laughs> are <laughs> bubbles. Don't, don't say the rest of it, Dave. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, we're quite welcoming to new people, and uh, we, we enjoy giving one another a good ribbing. Absolutely. And the working out here kind of self-selects for people that enjoy that type of work atmosphere, where it's collegial and try and keep it lighthearted and fun. Yeah, you got to roll with the punches in every way. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, uh, getting along with people is uh, perhaps slightly more important than competence uh, to being successful in this industry. Unless you're one of the people that p puts their seat back on a flight that's oh, three yeah. hours. Yeah, well, I tell you. You're not getting along with Right, yeah. You're not getting along with anybody. <laughs> you, yeah. Don't come on a vessel and talk about how you love to recline all the way here <laughs> from Toronto. Don't don't come on a vessel and start a conversation about airlines because then yeah. it'll never end. <laughs> yeah. All of us have had so many travel nightmares. Imagining him. 600 Dude. miles an hour. A chair in the sky. <laughs> Sounds just like him. <laughs> what you gotta put your seat back for? Now, what's he think he's doing what back there? He, what's he doing? <laughs> I'm trying to work on my computer. <laughs> he's tuning in. He's typing right now. Ah, furious. <laughs> These guys think up. they can make fun of me. <laughs> Dave, you have sped up, buddy. Here we go. Let's do it.
Okay, so radians and gradients are both a thing. Oh. Two different things? Two different things, but it's a lot of math that I'm not going to try to explain right now. But you're oh. going to explain it later. Sure. <laughs> Renny was absent on gradient day. Yeah. But he was all there for radiant day. Yeah. yeah, radians I was there for. As soon as you added the G, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Is this our normal ascent rate? Are we coming up slower? Coming up quicker than we have been. Oh, slower really? Than quicker. Faster than normal, yeah. Yeah, it used to be half Zip this back up. with all the older mm -hmm. Hercules. I think we used to plan on 20 to, it's like 20 down and 15, 15 up. up. Yeah. And then now it's more like 30. 30 and 30? Yeah, if we can make it. Do you feel did like they, you... If we're sample laden, it, it'll be like 25 or 20, I don't know. Did the tool basket come up, or we still got to go back down and get no, that? No, no, that's still, no. still down, down there. there. It's 100 pounds lighter with the floats now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, those floats. <laughs> 110 pounds lighter. Sorry. Uh, what were you saying, Josh? Honestly, I forgot. It that's was right. uh, it was a dig at Marley, but yeah, that's right. I'm over it. <laughs> There'll be more. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> questions about schedules and when we're diving again mm -hmm. and the reality is we cannot <laughs> predict when exactly we will be diving again we can tell you what's likely going to happen before we dive what, again where's what's the what's the megan of it all say about that uh, the megan says late this evening most likely nice we have a lot of deck work to do between now and then recovering this mooring uh deploying two other moorings and then we'll dive again to plug it all back in so, so we, we dive here are we going to transit back to MEF or um, recover we'll dive here plug it in we'll have to transit underwater to the southwest mooring location where uh. we're deploying an autonomous mooring and we're recovering a cable tester that we brought down last summer um, to huh. test the cable that goes to the southwest and the cable is not working which is why ah. we're deploying an autonomous mooring at that location mm. test the cable and so we'll, we'll recover that cable tester on the porch and it's pretty uh big and clunky so we'll recover mm -hmm. with that we've had some challenges with laying cables i remember there was one where we the fiber broke but then figured out comms over copper yeah, that was for uh, at Cascadia for mm -hmm. some of the uh, bottom pressure recorders that are 20, 25 kilometers out. Mm -hmm. This cable that's not working now worked for a long time, mm -hmm. um, and now it does not. <laughs> There's some media converters in it, mm -hmm. uh, and we think that one of those is now faulty. Mm -hmm. Is that a, an easy swap? The, the cable? The media converters? No. Oh. It would, we would have to, um, we, we would oh. have to lay a new cable. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know if they were like modules within. No. No. They're mm -hmm. integral. Wow. Yeah. So we'll deploy this autonomous one and hopefully we'll have all four moorings working at the same time for a year and collect data and that should give us an idea of whether or not this four mooring experiment is successful mm -hmm. so they're trying oh. to understand if the hot vent fluid uh, coming from the vents 
is impacting the currents in mm. the uh, kind of canyon area and making a sea breeze effect. Mm. Cool. But we've been uh, pretty unlucky at having all four moorings working at the same time in the past. So here we go again. Get it this time. You could probably tell that with the rangefinder. Yeah, just point it down. Yeah, four meters away. <laughs> four meters. Yeah, I'm, I'm still getting four. <laughs> <laughs> How far above the water do you think we actually are with the main deck? Uh, sitting up here. Nah, main deck. This bridge deck. I don't know. That's what I thought. There's a drawing somewhere with the freeboard. Oh, I have a general arrangement. Uh, now that I think of it, that would be super easy to find. It'd be in the ship spaces folder. Wow, how many boats are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. General arrangement. Whoa. Hmm. Is poutine a Canadian thing? Oh, well, very much. It yes. is the <laughs> most <laughs> wonderful <laughs> thing in the world. It is. A gift from Canada. <laughs> I thought it was a British thing. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Where is it's opposite. Oh. It's, a, it's a Quebec thing. Poutine. It's for it. Poutine. It's Whoa, transferred. Dave's never had poutine. Oh, Dave. Oh, Dave. What never is it? It is uh, fresh cut French fries, cheese curds, and gravy. And that's it. Cheese curds? Trust us, It Dave. has to be cheese curds. Trust it can't Dave. be regular uh, cheese. It has Dave? to be squeaky cheese Chips curds. Gravy, sure. Yeah, Add the, the cheese curds. It'll change your life, Dave. The last person from the UK told me they really liked salt and vinegar sandwiches. Salt and vinegar crisps? No, sandwiches. They made two pieces of bread and then salt and vinegar in the middle, and that was it. Make it crunchy. It'd be that good. Just sounds idiotic. <laughs> 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 That's what I said. <laughs> but you eat salt and vinegar chips. Stated. Salt and vinegar chips. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. make the bread crisp, toast it, mm. then it's the same. Maybe maybe they were, I would eat that. They were there I messing love with salt you. and vinegar. I'm telling you they call it fizzy bread or something. Fizzy bread. Soda bread? Soda bread. Now we're talking. Oh, yeah. I love soda oh, bread. Oh, my gosh. Our soda bread? Oh. Love some soda bread. Flashbacks to my grandma's kitchen. Mm. Used to make it on a big griddle every Saturday morning. Mm. Soda bread is Irish, yeah? Yeah. It's so good. Sean O'Donnell's makes a great soda bread. Ding. I had an Italian professor that was asking us, you know, kind of informally one day, you know, what, tell us, tell me about you know, something from your childhood that you remember and like, you know, something magical, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, I'll, I'll start, you know, we would go out to the town square, there was roasted chestnuts and you'd buy them and they're so warm. And she was like describing this great story and then just kind of silent there and a kid raises his hand, he's like, Pop-Tarts. <laughs> she was like, no, no, something something special, like a special occasion, yeah. Pop -tarts. you know, and, she, and he was like, uh, Toaster strudels. <laughs> wow. And we all, she was like, this is hopeless. <laughs> I think mine would be French toast. That was the very first thing I learned how to make myself mm. when I was a kid, and I thought it was the most amazing thing. The first thing I learned was very similar, but it was the thing where you cut a hole in the piece of the bread with a cup. Yeah, that was another one, yeah. Put the egg in the middle. Egg in a basket. Yeah. yeah. 
I wasn't as advanced as you making French toast. <laughs> I just had the, the elements of a French toast. In the morning? Yeah, quite a bit. Um, it's off 250 meters from, uh, to the north from Hercules. And our current right now still 0.3 from from aft, so something similar to that, just less less velocity than that. All right, do we still want questions and comments from the peanut gallery here, or do we need to switch into ops? <laughs> no, we're good. For a bit. Favorite junk food, go. <laughs> mm. I'll go first. Peanut M&Ms. Mm. Yeah, those are good. They are the best. Sometimes they go in the ROV shop because they have a big tub in there and pretend I have something to talk about. Yeah. Oh, we've noticed. <laughs> I, I usually wait till launch recovery and head down there. <laughs> Nobody in there. All the good snacks are stashed. I got away my down hand there. caught in a cookie jar once, so I, I try to make it like obvious, oh. but like, oh, I'm just casually in here I'm while just, we're talking. I'm I'll just putting M &M. these back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. just adding to your M and M's here. Yeah, yeah, I got a few. Of them. It's a, it's a. I keep refilling your M and M's. Hope you don't mind. Take a take an M and M, leave an M and M situation. <laughs> It's just like filled with IOUs at the end, just little post-its. <laughs> and they're all you. It's all ready. <laughs> These are as good as gold. Right. <laughs> as soon as we get to shore, you'll have a new bin. Some boats have uh, tons of candy and stuff just laid out. The Thompson? Thompson. Uh, oh, my gosh. Brutal. How many Reese's peanut butter cups yeah. can you eat yeah. in or like three an, months? Or an ice cream All freezer them. just out. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. got to the point where I would eat so many. I would like have like, you know, four peanut butter cups, two packages. And then I would take the wrappers and I would go put them in somebody else's trash can. <laughs> so it didn't look like I was wolfing through them. Is that for yourself or for other people? Yeah, was that for your own personal <laughs> yeah. inside feelings? Yeah, he's like, because oh. no, no, because other otherwise people would come to talk to you, your dad's and like, dang, what do you eat? <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat all those? <laughs> no. Yeah. Now I know he's making that up because nobody comes to talk to Ed. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm locked nice. in a fishbowl here. Yeah. We only have visitors on Wednesdays. We talk through the glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, on the Gould in Antarctica, they would have a oh, yeah. ton of candy, mm -hmm. and they would just put it out. I think it's a Unals ship thing. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Government, they, uh, government yeah. ships. Yeah, Unals. Government vessels. Unals was the one I had. I was on with the ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, there's another boat I worked on that has, uh, uh, what this thing's called? Well, they had the Magnum Bars. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, those are good. But they also have, uh, what's the ice cream cone with the chocolate on the inside? Drumstick. They had drumsticks on there, too. And movie Unlimited. night on the fantail. Oh. That was nice. I'd always catch James with an ice cream bar and a cigarette hanging out in the, like behind the van and like this space yeah, between yeah. the van and the side of the ship. There are still some people who smoke when they come out to mm -hmm. sea, but there's very limited I'm going to get some stay. forward way on. Roger. Yeah, no worries. Bridge, nav. I'd like to secure tanks, enable air to tuggers, have the captain on the bridge and we can stream forward at the ship's current heading 0 0.3 knots. 
Thank you. I think we've got time for one more, and then we can switch into ops mode, eh? Uh, let's see. Swirling back through here. One of our viewers learned about whale falls from us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think Swale Fall would be a good name for a psychedelic folk band. Nice. I would suggest you uh, check out Whale Core if you haven't already. Is that like nerd core, but about whales? It's like uh, metal music yeah. about whales. Yeah. Nerd core is like metal music, but about when uh, SQL Server. It's about gradients, apparently. Yep. <laughs> Reciprocals. Uh, I'm not looking for a KP's pilot. Oh. All right, so yeah, I think we are going to switch over to ops. This is going to be a slightly more complicated recovery than we typically have. We've got something hanging below us or something? Nope. Do a regular just recovery a, and then we will. Is the mooring still on the surface? It is indeed. Yeah. So we just have to navigate around that, right? Yeah. So it is. It is still to about 200. Let's see. From the from the ship. A lock, we won't even see it. It's about 300 meters I can see it away. Right there. Oh, you got it. Is that not it in the uh, half camera? Hold on. Yeah. I'll take a peek. Is it here. behind us? Yeah. It is behind us. You see it that is, orange yeah. little dot? Yeah. Oh, I could get That's that if you want. Closer than it should be, really. Yeah. Yeah, but it's. Yeah. We're moving away at there point three right now, so. Yeah, I'm still tracking the USBL, at, but you know the slant range uh, at this shallow for as shallow as it is, <clears throat> maybe affecting our range ability. Well, why don't you have a range finder? Yeah. And just <laughs> I'm I'm tracking. Go ahead, Bridge. Thank you. Oh, that's exactly what we ordered. Fantastic. Set up. Wow, look at this sea state. Let's get back in the water. Yeah. Let's go water skiing. Yeah. Can you do that at 0 0.3 knots? I don't think so. How fast can we go? At uh, uh, 12. Well, speed over ground. You need some uh, big skis. We got pallets down there. You can wakeboard. You can wakeboard slowly, yeah. What's that fish doing? Nope, don't. What? Okay, <laughs> got it. <laughs> hmm. Would you look at that? <laughs> oh boy. Poor jellies. Lock it up, Josh. Lock it up. The famous lock it up watch of what was that, 2017? Uh, that was 2017. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we I did recall not. That. We did not lock it we, up. We did not lock it <laughs> we up. We unlocked it a lot. We showed up to watch wearing cardboard <laughs> cowboy, cowboy hats. hats. <laughs> because we were the cowboy watch. Sure were. That was Trevor was like. He was still new, so he was hot shot. Yeah. You know, he thought he, he had, oh, yeah. thought he was hot, hot stuff. That's right. You were bullseye because you nailed that bullseye level. Yeah. And uh, I was quick draw because of this po pole. Absolutely. I can't remember what Megan was. Uh, loose cannon. Oh. <laughs> great one. Um, and then eagle eye was the eagle video. Eye, yeah. Yeah. We had a good. We could. We could have been the. Um, we could have made it. We could have made nationals. The but ridiculous. If it wasn't for your injury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That took me out for six years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could have made nationals. Yeah, you didn't. 
And now I'm back, and Trevor's my boss. You, you're pretty much my boss. Everybody, <laughs> I was kind of. I was how, how did things go for you in the last six <laughs> years? <man? laughs> Fall from grace. Fall Got from the guy grace. who doesn't know about gradients telling you what to do. <laughs> That's right. Trevor spent all of his extra money on the soup pay for his rangefinder. <laughs> yeah. All of his day rates. He's in the whole eight dollars right now. Roger. Sorry, it's all slow. That's all right. Ugh. Maybe if I erase the targets and stuff. I don't want to mess with it. Freeze up. I think that's roughly our Argus heading offset that we have up here, the compass offset. Yeah. Yeah, we're not far off. There's maybe point one, but that's shown from that, so we're okay. Yeah. <coughs> so I plan to just continue streaming at the surface, and it should be we pretty much should be matching the service current, so you should have kind of full freedom to drive around. If you want faster speed, just let me know. <coughs> now that we're streaming, I want to look at the current to know how well we're compensated. Yeah. Which DP do you have up over there already? Uh, I believe it's starboard, let me check. I think they're on port. It is indeed starboard. Yeah, uh, let me look. So yeah, it's a shame that it doesn't show on starboard or on the other one what it's doing, but I guess well, it's like the fully separate control. Well, the other one under DP control, it says online. Hmm. This one says offline, starboard. Starboard is the... I mean, I can try control Xing in to see if the buttons are somehow switched on my panel, but I think it should be starboard. I've got starboard in port on PC1 and 2, uh -huh. and port in the upper left, MFD01 master, underneath it says DB control, and online is lit, and starboard it says DB control offline. You may have them switched, or I may have them switched. Let me do my control alt Xing. figure it out. Mine over here too. So, I want to control PC to video 1, Starboard yeah, is, is indeed the okay. one that's online. So it may be that your maybe labels are... Yeah, maybe my labels are wrong. That makes sense. I'm grabbing them both, though.
Switch over to the engine recovery one bit. Roger. Roger. Oh yeah, there's that <clears throat> mooring just sitting out there. Just sitting. Seventy-five. Okay. Roger. Deck control. I'll stop at seven five meters. Charlie to recover. Captain. <clears throat> I don't know, but he's gonna recover. Trevor on the crane. What is? Oh, he did this, this last one? yesterday too. Yeah. What does he need? One. Wants promotion. Seen, yeah, I haven't seen him up there in a bit. Well, now that he's got a rangefinder. Yeah, you give the guy a rangefinder and he starts running things back there. But teach a man to rangefind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make him a navigator. <laughs> I'm going to stop the mezzos. Roger. There we go. Don't need to create the craft on for anything, do I? Nope.
Don't need lights on left anymore, do we? At the left end. Yeah, I've bing, killed bing, them all bing. on the vehicle as well. Bing. Thirty-five. I was expecting to see dolphins, but then I remembered it's Saturday. I think. Yep. Van, van, back deck. Go for van. Of eyes on Hercules, a little bit to our starboard of the A-frame. Copy. I think he means port. We'll find out. He flipped it the other day. You sure did. <coughs> no, it looks actually looks to be, be bang yeah, on, bang center. on. Yeah, there, there it go. is. <coughs> the last two time I hooked. I like lost the magic, you know. Really? It took me forever to to do it because it was it was those two bad, like rough recoveries where it was like half in the water, swinging out and yanking. You lost and it, your I tell you, once you use the composite uh, bosun's poles, you never go back to these metal ones. Yeah. Huey brought some on board. They were light. Ooh. You lost your mojo. I did. Yeah. I used to one hand hook, you know, first try, and now here I am. One hand, no luck. Yeah, no luck. No luck. No pole, just throw it at it. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. And am I supposed to be turning the uh, Atalanta cameras off? No, you can leave them on until uh, we go high voltage if you want. Okay. We actually like stream now. Dave, I'm just going to yeah. keep going as is unless you have any. Yeah, that's yeah. fine, mate. Then I'll switch out of it now. People can see deck ops. I'm looking at cam port. Let me change that one. Every time we have days like this, I'm like, man, they just probably always had this in the Aegean and Black Sea and Mediterranean, or more often than 
more often than the swells we get out in the Pacific. Yeah, it can be real nice yeah. in the head. Yeah. And then you think about the North Atlantic, and it's just no thanks. Yeah. I would have liked to at least seen the vessel when the gym had a Baltic door. I was there when it had a Baltic door. Yeah? Yeah. What's that? The whole side of the gym wall would just open up. But the problem was they, uh, somebody had it open when they were steaming and they weren't supposed to. And so they were like on a little a cycle, you know, mm -hmm. uh, not recumbent, what do you call it, stationary bike. And then I think someone got mad. And I'm sure there was other reasons they sealed it off, but. Tip again. There it goes. Mm. The way Mike tightens down those ratchet straps yeah. on that Atlanta, we should measure the frame and see how much longer it's gotten. <laughs> I was just looking at that, he's reefing Is he? I can't tell if he's pulling me in or not yet. There it is now. You could bring a yeah, harp Yeah, in butt out. cam you still have a couple tape pieces on. Yeah. <clears throat> but I think he's got it. There it is, just That's split. It. I just can't see any, but I don't like that. I just yeah, can't yeah. see anyone pulling the... There it goes yeah, yeah. Really slow. Yeah, it's the world's slowest crane winch. Just got service too. Twice. World's slowest. But I can't see anybody pulling the um, the umbilical in there. It's right. coming now. Yeah, yeah. You can secure all your cameras on Atlanta whenever you want, Josh. I'm out of there. Roger. Back deck. Go ahead. Hercules to drive ahead, please. Roger, drive ahead. Why does he want me way out there? Because he wants the winch tight, the purple rope. It comes oh, loose. in case it like knifes it. Uh, They're afraid of it getting in the thrusters. Hercules is 10 meters from the transom. Copy. We've installed the Hercules boot cleaner on the side after a long day down at the bottom of the ocean. Shoe shiner? Yeah. 
I'd drive ahead a bit more again. Yeah. And uh, have Hercules pull forward. Copy. <clears throat> I think we normally don't have this luxury. <laughs> Dragged back there. Yeah. In the current and all that. Does he help me with that? Yeah, I think now it's under. It should be. And Dak, uh, you can go ahead and hold on thrust. Copy. Hercules is out of the water. Copy. Bypass off. Yep. Okay, Raj. <clears throat> and then secure the high voltage. High, high voltage, voltage secure. Okay. Now what do I have to do? Press a button over here. <clears throat>